And we are joined now from Billings, Montana, by Kyle McLaughlin from the Montana State Billings track and field team. But he is also just back from the Great Northwest Athletic Conference Student Athlete Advisory Committee's annual retreat, which took place down in Monmouth, Oregon. Kyle, thanks for making time for us tonight here on GNAC Insider. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate you having me. Let's talk a little bit about the Student Athlete Advisory Committee. Uh, we call it SAC uh, internally, but maybe there are some people listening tonight to GNAC Insider who have never heard of SAC, the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, before. Give us just kind of a, a thumbnail of what the SAC is. Absolutely, Rob. Thank you. Uh, Student Athlete Advisory Committee, they are across all the teams here in the GNAC and uh, mainly across uh, all the divisions as well. And what it is is it, it includes members from each team as representatives, and there's an, uh, they have e-boards as well that we really decide on a lot of important stuff that goes on not only at our university, but also decisions and proposals that affect schools all across the division. So uh, we really, really try to include everybody in making decisions that count across the nation. All right, let, let's drill down just a little bit on that. What are some of the things that the, the Student Athlete Advisory Committee finds to be those important issues? Absolutely. So we actually here at Montana State University Billings just recently finished voting on our legislation for this year. And we had some great discussions and great topics over what we were going about. And we had, we had a few proposals this year that are going to go into effect, the, whether it be next year, next June, or possibly two August from now. So what it includes is allowing schools to be eligible to have new sports such as women's wrestling. That might be a new one possibly coming up. Uh, gymnastics and tumbling, we went over that tonight. And also we go over proposals that mainly pertain to uh, – we go over quite a few things such as transferring. That's a really hot topic right now. Uh, there's quite a few things going on in the legislation that they're wanting to even things up across the divisions, whether it be D1, D2, and D3. We're making it a lot more student-athlete oriented and having it be so that student-athletes can get the most out of their experience, even if they do have to transfer colleges. So those are a few of the things this year around in the legislation that – we're a really hot topic, and I think a lot of the student athletes have been looking for quite a few of these changes recently. So uh, I know our advisory committee was uh, very happy to see a few proposals this year, and we're excited to see some change here. And we're glad to know that SAC here at MSUB is able to make a difference, and our votes are seen across the nation. Now, as I mentioned at the top of our discussion, you're just back from the Student Athlete Advisory Committee annual retreat. I understand you had some guest speakers there, and you, you discussed uh, really a, a wide range of topics, mental health, inclusion, team building among them. What was your takeaway from the, uh, from the retreat? Absolutely, Rob. And our guest speakers were, they brought some great information in their expertise. So we had Dania Kataya, Diana Kataya, and she brought some great leadership exercises and presentations to the nine schools that showed up this weekend uh, about just promoting a, a better atmosphere on our campuses through our leadership posi positions. She taught us about creating positive and inclusive cultures for the expanding GNAC region. We were such a growing region that uh, we're, we're finding ways to make this such a better atmosphere for those new students while we grow. And then another one, like you touched on mental health, this was very important to Montana State University Billings as well as the other schools that participated this weekend. And we had Cindy Miller, Cindy Miller Aaron come and talk to us. She had some great information on ways we can utilize and improve our counseling at our universities. The um, athletes deal with a lot of high levels of physical and mental discomfort throughout their competing in college. So it's great that we're able to offer this assistance and opportunity to them to really get taken care of, not only just in the athletic training room, but also in the counseling offices. It's a really important topic right now. And I know Montana State University Billings, we are really pushing for it. 
Uh, and a lot of the other schools, they are trying to gain access to it as well as maximize their utilization of it. Well, Kyle, one final question for you. Uh, Kyle McLaughlin from the Montana State Billings Track and Field Team, but also on the GNAC Student Athlete Advisory Committee uh, for MSUB. You're a student. You're an athlete. Yeah. You have many, many things going on. Why did you say, I also want to take on the role of SAC as well? Because certainly that, that, uh, that upped the, uh, the amount of uh, your workload by, by a little bit. Absolutely. This was a great opportunity um, for leadership. I, I had first had just joined as a representative, and I knew that they made some pretty big decisions and they were seen as leaders on campus. So I, I absolutely wanted to get behind that and just to see the amount of change that SAC can bring to not only their universities, but as well as their conference and their division. That was, that was just so appealing to me. And I, I I've, I've always wanted to be in those leadership roles in college is such a great opportunity. And even though I am a student athlete and I am very busy, it, it's great to know how to be in these leadership roles and to juggle as, you know, more than what most usually do. So SAC has been a wonderful opportunity for me these past four years at school, and I, I'm really going to miss it. Well, I, I think your career in athletics is going to far out uh, outlast your time there in Montana State Billings. You're a well-spoken young man. You're certainly very passionate about intercollegiate athletics, and I know that your career, I know you're going into criminal justice, uh, at least that's your major, but uh, whatever you do, yeah. I, I feel very, uh, very, very confident in saying I think you're going to be a very big success. And Kyle, thanks for your work with the SAC, the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, and uh, thanks for joining us tonight here on GNAC Insider. Thank you, Rob. You have a great rest of your evening.